Hi, welcome to my channel, Jumping in Reality. So you are jumping from one reality to another. And we're doing that all the time, whether we know it or not, whether it's the reality that we want or not, it's based on what we're feeling energetically. So how can you do that? I've talked about changing your perspective on things in the past, um, and that's brilliant. Uh, changing the story that you tell yourself, that's brilliant, but there's a much quicker way. And I think, like I've said before, that actually we grow with this and where I had my week off and I really enjoyed that sort of looking into this more having that time where I could practice things I'm gonna just tell you a story I don't know if I should put this up on I was gonna I think me and Harry will talk about it on the podcast as well I was going to leave it to that but I just think it's a really good one to tell so I was playing around with influencing energy and that's what I think I'm doing that's all that I think I'm doing you can put a label on it and call it the law of attraction but really it is you are influencing energy and I thought to myself about this you know become magnetic and I have kind of always had a bit of a feeling about that of myself and I don't know where that came from it wasn't like I had a ton of confidence or anything when I was younger but I've kind of always had that feeling so I thought okay let's see what we can do with that and then I thought how much do I feel that and I brought it up within me and I thought yeah I'm going to walk around for the rest of today just feeling totally magnetic anyway so I was playing around with the energetic version of um, you know energetically magnetism yeah I feel magnetic so I was walking around with it two things happened to me pretty much as soon after. So I went to get myself, I went with Jeremy and we, uh, so on the cruise things were included, but there's also places where you can go and pay extra. And there's this really nice little coffee place there. So we would go there and we were sat having coffee and I really liked the girl in there. She was really sweet. And the girl that was there most of the time and always, she had to wear a mask, but I could tell that she was smiling. And I don't, I know that I smile a lot because it's my default position. So I know that I've always been like that, even from a young child, it's something about, I just, happened to be smiling more often than I'm not and she served us and she had and I could tell she was really smiling she looked at me and she went oh you're so nice and I said oh and she said you were just so smiley and it just makes me happy she said it's just so nice and I, and I laughed and Jeremy said oh yeah she's always doing that I said yeah it's my default she went, but it's lovely so that was a really nice compliment and I said oh thank you that's, that's great that's nice to know that it makes people's day you know and off she went right so a bit later in the evening still playing around with this energy, but just feeling it every now and again, really feeling the force of it. I was waiting for the lift with my mother-in-law. So I had gone, we'd gone on holiday and it, my, it was paid for actually by my mother-in-law because it was supposed to be for Jeremy's 50th um, a couple of years ago. And we were still at the lift and it was just me and her. And this girl came over and I'd seen this girl previously. She was a young girl and I commented on the fact that her and her boyfriend would just stop anywhere and start kissing. <laughs> it was really funny. And like everyone else got so inappropriate, but I thought it was funny. I said, oh, well, they're just young, you know. Uh, it was a little bit in your face and it was a bit like showy, you know, but anyway, so she, walks through the doors and we're waiting for the lift and I hadn't spoken to her before and she came striding over to me and, and I won't use the words because I don't want my videos to get demonetized but she said you're sexy as you are and I was completely thrown and I thought okay so she, that's just her way of complimenting like oh thank you <laughs> did not know what to say my mother-in-law was she she said oh I'm trying to find this particular restaurant and she'd got herself lost basically because it is really confusing on the ship so my mother-in-law was looking on the list trying to find her where this particular restaurant was and she just looked at me and she said oh you better get away from me otherwise I'll you and I was <laughs> so thrilled I never lost for words like never lost words I I tell you I kid you not she clearly didn't know how old I was I had all my hair pulled back and I, I can look younger then and she couldn't have been any older than 25. I don't even think she was that to be honest. I'd put her when I'd seen her about 22 and I couldn't, nothing would have come out of my mouth. And she said, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, oh, I'm feeling really, I, I can't say too much what she said, but and my mother-in-law wasn't quite aware of what was going on. She knew something was going on, but I was dumbfounded. I literally couldn't speak. That's never happened to me before. And and I said, go and get, and I like messed around with her. I went, get in the lift, go on. And I told her where it was. Oh, it was floor five, go on. She went, and then she kept going, what floor? And I went, five. And I just wanted the door to shut because I was feeling so uncomfortable um, because I was in, in shock. And then um, my mother-in-law was like, what should I say? And I said, I'll tell you in a minute. Home with it. And then we got into the coffee place where um, Jeremy and my brother-in-law were and I said, oh my God, and I said what she had said. <laughs> my mother-in-law is so hilarious, like she's the queen of the understation. Because uh, I don't know if you know, but my actual name is Rachel. So I'm Evie and I'm Rachel. I'm, I say my actual name, my birth name is Rachel. But majority of the time in my life these days, I'm Evie. And she just said, I should stay away from her, Rachel. <laughs> 
so funny. And I went, yeah, I will, I intend to. And Jen went, yeah, yeah, stay away from her. But it just cracks me up so much, her. So, but I thought, wow, do you know what? How full on was that? And then I thought, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm dropping that energy. I'm dropping back around with that energy because it was so full on. And I saw her a couple of days later when she was clearly really sober and she looked a bit embarrassed, you know, she, mm, hi. <laughs> She wasn't the same at all. I completely dropped that energy then. I thought, I'm not doing that again. And every time I've done that on purpose, something like that has happened, but not to that extent. That was huge. And I did laugh to myself, but like, it was hysterical. I said to Jeremy, have you ever known me lost for words? I can normally come back with something really funny quick or something. I like, consider myself to be pretty quick uh, when it comes to making comments and stuff, but I couldn't speak. Nothing would come out of my mouth, apart from getting the lift and go away pretty much. I said to her, just nothing would come back. Uh, you know again I influenced energy and I could feel it really strong within me magnetic I'm magnetic I'm magnetic and I was like whoa so right let's go back to jumping in reality so you know I'm always kind of in that reality but I leapt strongly into a reality where I was completely magnetic you know um so what you do is you conjure up an energy of something what it is that you want and it's good to play around with this with stuff that you would like but you're not too hung up on and you kind of really feel that energy within you. It's not an energy of I am necessarily, it's just an energy of, of that. If you could put it into words energetically, it's kind of that. Um, so you're, you're practicing. So just have a practice with this, have a mess around with it. It's something like that, you could use that magnetic. Don't say I am, um, just use the word magnetic because the problem is when you're starting with this and you start saying I am you feel like you're trying to convince yourself of something and that will hold you back but if you just say the word you don't all you're doing because you're conjuring up the energy of that word and that's all you need to do you don't say you are it I mean I don't I rarely use I am I mostly just use words like that and I do that quite a lot mucking around I love testing things out here that's why I'm going to be doing so much more writing this year because I've been doing so much experimenting and really having fun with this so that's what you're looking at and that will shift you in the direction so you will then shift into a reality where you are on the way to that and it's something like that the magnetic thing that you'll see results like immediately because there's nothing deep within you that thinks that would take a long time to happen so it all depends what's going on with you but you know anything so let's say you're looking for a certain relationship so feel yourself i am having that relationship that is going to happen okay so really feel that that is going to happen don't worry you're not convincing your rational brain here all you're doing is looking for it for this energetically and you feel it and if you feel the other possibilities either side push them to side but no this is what's happening so you've shifted them you have absolutely shifted but you'll still think oh, i don't think that'll happen oh it might not happen but it doesn't matter because you have shifted yourself by doing that and at some point that is going to happen because you've you've directed yourself and I have been reminded of this on, on my holiday reading what Richard does like I said he doesn't talk about this necessarily but it made me think about the various things that I've done and maybe I don't do any more that I should do and that strong um, leap in reality can be done like that but you don't have to believe it and that is the magic of this isn't it you, you will read just believe it and it will happen i i don't believe anything you know that i i i strongly know that i've shifted myself into that direction i kind of have an underlying feeling i guess that yeah i'm on that path now but my mind always interferes with saying but really but really i'm very good at ignoring my mind so it doesn't matter but your mind will do that and you need to practice ignoring your mind so give yourself a switch word that drags you that that kind of stops you in your tracks your, stops your mind in your tr in its tracks from trying to convince you that it's not true because you don't want to build the momentum around it not being true but you don't want to worry about it either you don't want to worry about your mind saying that because I do it's going to be a natural thing that your mind wonders really really mind does mind's more of that really you think <laughs> you know but I do just ignore it because I think it's not useful to me all it can do is hold me back and I will not water it I will not allow it I will not engage with it basically and that's what you need to do stop engaging so if you're rationalizing something at the moment that's happening in your life or not happening in your life stop doing that because that's just your mind trying to take control that's what we don't need here this is us leaping in reality and we do it all of the time it's not like something gonna be something new that you've never done before you're just doing it all you do it all the time sometimes you get stuck in current reality because you keep feeling stuck keep feeling like nothing's moving but play around with this see see it as i do you are influencing energy and when you influence energy you go in the flow of it and you go in that direction you can't do nothing but that and then just don't engage with your rational mind i'm really hoping all this new stuff is going to be really helpful to you guys because i've never really gone down this route before i've gone down a lot of the route that other people have gone down oh do this to do this and do you know but not 
gone deep enough into it and it isn't deep we don't have to sort of overthink this stuff but this applies to anything that you want in your life so i don't want to focus too heavily on specific person these days because it can i think that stuff there's so much of it out there and what makes me any better than anyone else nothing but there's not many people talking about this so it's a bit more original and it's me it comes from the heart and i i really believe in everything that i'm telling you i've practiced it i've done it i live my life this way um i love my life this way it's fun um you know i'm, I'm not uh I'm not 100% positive all of the time, but positivity doesn't come into this. I am balanced, I think. I do have my sort of negative day. What do I though? Do I even have negative days anymore? I don't know that I do, to be honest. I do have days when I might question a bit more and find myself rationalising things a bit more and trying to find a logical reason for something, but then I, I snap out of it. Do you know what? I think I can honestly say that I am positive 90% of the time, but I'm not euphoric. I don't go with euphoria because if you're euphoric, the only way you can come is down. The only way you can go is down. So you don't want, you're not looking for euphoria. I'm looking to manifest from a neutral point, but I think I'm generally, in general, have always been a glass, I'd say a glass half full type of person, but I'm a glass completely full kind of person. I always see the possibilities in life, I guess, and I've always been like that. And if you're not like that, you can be like that. You can use words to yourself like this. Possibilities, endless possibilities. Don't say, I have endless possibilities, just say endless possibilities. Again, that cuts out any resistance and you will start to shift yourself over time. It will take persistence if you're really heavy on the other on the other way, but you will get there. I've changed, like my reactive nature has gone. It's no part of me. And honestly, like I've never really suffered with resentment anyway, but I can honestly say that if someone does something that upsets me and I don't like it, I deal with it, done. And, and I can now look back on things that have happened that haven't been that great and maybe a certain person's behaved in a certain way, and I just don't care. I don't mean I don't care about them, I just mean it doesn't bother me, in the slightest. And I've done that by practicing not caring what people think. And again, so the words that I would use for that is untouchable. I'm going off course again, aren't I? So we'll stop that. I hope you got something from this. Honestly, ask me questions down below if you feel like you need some clarification. Um, and I'll be happy to answer those in as much detail as I can. And I hopefully sort of shift you on the track that you want to be on. But the key is, right, to enjoy this and just to see it. It's like, what the hell? How awesome is it that we can influence energy and change our lives? Like, that's crazy, isn't it? That's some crazy shit to be able to do that. To realise that life is not just black and white. It's not as we see it, it's different. And I, I 100%, I have, there's no bit in me that thinks that's not true. I just know in my life that's what's happening. And how great is that? So if you're focusing heavily on the negative side of stuff, know that that's the energy that you're creating. So that's the path you're on. But if you stop doing that and create a different energy, you'll be on a different path. Done. Okay, I'm filming so many videos. I hope you're not getting bored with me. <laughs> I'm sure that I'll sort of slow down a bit. I have been putting one video out a day for a long time, but mostly they're shorts. But I really want to up the content more with along these lines because I just feel like it's stuff people should know. And some of you won't like it, of course, and it won't appeal to everyone. But I really, if it appeals to a certain percentage of people, then it changes the course, their course with this, then awesome. Right, I'm an author, my books are listed below, and I do have, Get Back With Your Ex remains my most popular book, and I think it always will be because of the title. Um, and I know that I'm not featuring heavily on specific person on this channel at the moment, but you know, that book is not, it, it's very empowering, I think, um, after the loss of a relationship, as well as teaching you how to bring that relationship back. But the, the stuff that I'll be putting out now, from now on, the books that I'll be putting out, will be much more in depth and they will be much more, um, much deeper, I guess. But you know, I have degrees of attachment out, which is all about attachment and how you can get over that. Uh, get back with your ex. Wishful thinking. Um, I'm really gonna do more to promote that because I just, I read it on holiday, I read my own book when I'd read, finished all the shit dot stuff. Jeremy said, what are you reading now? And I said, my own book, Wishful Thinking. I've read it for four years. And I said, I can't believe I wrote it. Like when I read it, it's like somebody else wrote it because I haven't read it for so long. And I thought, if you're trying to manifest a specific person, you're really stuck. This is it. Like you can see what's going on because it's fiction. And you know, Maddie, and it, it's the best friend with her. And it's a long time before it happens, but the feelings that she goes through. And when you know what you know about this, I think it becomes apparent, God, oh, that's probably why this has not happened for me yet. And I, I just think it's really useful, a really useful way of telling the story. 
I hope. Um, and I have sold a few more actually recently. I don't know what, how that's happened, but obviously people have found them randomly. I don't really know how that's happened. But, uh, and what's the other one? Pimp Your Vibe. And that's all about vibration and um, sort of manipulating your vibration. But really, you know, I now call that, I used to always call it vibration, but now I'm calling it energy influencing. So that does apply still, because it's the same thing, but it's there I call it vibe, vibration, but now I call it energy it's easier, isn't it? It's an easier word. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Energy. My energy than my vibe, my vibration. Sounds a bit woo-woo, doesn't it? But energy doesn't. Energy is like science, isn't it? There you go. That's it. Done deal. Stopping.